Let's get ready to fumble. Hi everyone. Well, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Well, let's get this over with. No one cares. <laughs> me. We're talking about a movie today. Our movies do you see here, and today we're talking about Rumble. Well, it's Fumble. Rumble is directed by Hamish Grieve. What's the story? Um, every uh, a waste of a good concept. Um, okay. Young girl by the name of Winnie. She lives in a city. Guessing in the near future where wrestling um, and pro wrestling has now been taken over by kaiju monsters. Um, her dad trained the greatest ever of the sport, um, but she ended up losing not only the athlete, but her father, um, to death. Um, and soon, um, the ring that he's going to build is going to, uh, he built is now going to be bulldozed over by evil, evil, evil bureaucrats that are pretty bog standard, as well as a very obvious monster villain. Who's really annoying. Um, and she finds um, unexpected help in a monster who is the son of the monster who um, her father trained, who has now fallen on hard times, and you see he's fat. And that's a lot of the jokes, is that he's fat and he's a loser, and he'd rather dance than wrestle, and therefore he sucks. Will she lead him to victory? Will you actually give a shit? Look, I'm going to come around. Very rarely have I seen... This is saying a lot to say, this is a movie with a elevator pitch that is awesome. And even, like, a design that's kind of cool. That is wasted on the dullest possible movie. This movie... An algorithm made this movie. The, Hamish Grieve did not direct this movie. The Paramount Plus algorithm directed this movie. I'm convinced. A computer made this movie. You take a concept... Yeah, I didn't like it. You take a concept like monsters wrestling, and you make it boring. It is the same. Just formula. And it's also like, the jokes are repetitive. Like, I don't... I think I maybe smirked once and chuckled once. And I remember what they were. He smirked. There's one scene where, toward the end, where the monster's coming in for the big fight, and he throws a pair of sunglasses into the crowd, and because he's a giant monster, it literally has to be, like, like, um, what do you call it? It's like a stage dive where the whole, cr the whole crowd is grabbing onto the gigantic sunglasses. Okay, that's kind of funny. And then there's one scene where someone goes, holy guacamole. Well, or no, they go, holy, and you know they're gonna say shit. Like, Holy, and then it cuts to this, he goes, guacamole for lunch today. I'm like, <clears throat> okay. That's it. That is it. Will Arnett is wasted. Um, um, what's, what's this actress's name? I always get her name wrong. But she's a terrific comic actress from Blockers and Miracle Workers, and more recently, that like, F this movie, go on Netflix right now and watch um, Saturday Morning All-Star Hits. It's awesome. It's really, really good, and she's in it. What's that actually? Geraldine Vishwanathan. Yeah, Geraldine Vishwanathan and Terry Crews, all these people, they deserve so much better than this movie. It is also a movie that is produced by WWE that makes wrestling and the people who are fans of wrestling and people who are in wrestling look like the biggest assholes on planet Earth. What do you want me to say? The animation is okay, and then it's be yourself. It, it, it is like, and then it gets so repetitive because there's like this one, not even joke, but gag, or they think is a joke, where it's a monster and a human commentating on the sport, and the monster's like, oh, I, like, it's like, this isn't wrestling, this is dancing, and so I want to see where it goes. Not funny, okay. They do it like seven more times in the span of like ten minutes. It's like, it wasn't funny the first time. How the hell is it going to be funny the next eight? I didn't like this movie. Um, this is a waste of time. You know what? Better yet, uh, screw Rumble. 
I have a better recommendation for you from a bit about WWE and producer WD. Go watch Fighting With My Family. That's a really, really underrated good movie with a Florence Pugh is in it and The Rock. Go watch Fighting With My Family. It's so much better than this. It wasn't the worst of the worst. I've seen worse this year. You know what this was? This was just like a really dumb babysitter for your five-year-old. Go take your kid to see Encanto. Go take your kid to see... Cl what? Clifford is on Paramount. That was actually not bad. You know, go take your kid... Spider-Man's coming out soon, like, it's also re weirdly negative, like I mentioned, like, all the jokes are fat shame jokes, or, like, let the guy, the guy wants to be a big guy who dances, like, leave him alone, don't force him to be a wrestler, he doesn't want to be, a the other thing, no, none of the characters have real, any motivation outside of saving, like, the actual stadium, like, they don't really, it's not really about legacy, even they try to make it that way, this movie is bad, um, I'm gonna give Rumble, what, oh, I don't know. I'll give it one and a half star, because it was watchable, but it was not good. Don't go watch, don't watch this movie, this is a waste of your time. This movie is dumped, this is going to come out in theaters, it was dumped into into Paramount Plus, don't don't bother with Rumble. Just, just no, thumbs down for Rumble, this was bad. Um, I'll cover it, goes to uh, Roger Ebert. Anyway, yeah, one and a half star, let's close the book on it. Trailer Trash None, watch it on Paramount Plus, was there Sharma? Yeah, kind of, it was stupid too. Anyway, let's do Dirty in the Credits. Anyway, yeah, it was dumb. Alright, sorry to disappoint you kitties, but there's better options for you. Um, Alright, we will be back Thursday for Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, we also might do MacGruber Season 1. In fact, we probably will do MacGruber Season 1. Um, we will also be talking Friday, we'll be doing Nightmare Alley. And an early review, barring an embargo of American Underdog. Um, next week, on Tuesday, we got The King's Man. Uh, next Thursday, we got uh, Matrix Resurrections. Oh, uh, next Monday night, we got Being the Ricardos as well. Next Friday is Don't Look Up. Um, also next week, we're going to be talking see Hawkeye Season 1, as well as um, on the 26th, we're talking Licorice Pizza and A Journal for Jordan. Um, we are talking on the 27th of the, of the Bollywood movie 83, and then, um, we're gonna do a couple of catch-up reviews, and then, um, two weeks from now, we will be talking the best movies of the year and the worst movies of the year. Uh, that'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant, the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. Appreciate you all. Uh, I love you all thousands of minutes, but at least a thousand, be kind to one another. If you like this video, uh, give it a like if you wanna, give it a subscribe if you wanna, give it the bell. I don't know what it tells, but that's just do, or so I've been told. Um, and if you want to find me also reviews this and other fun stuff, um, including my ongoing second annual 25 Movies of Christmas, you can check me out on Letterboxd.com at Grant the Movie and TV Guy. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, uh, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. Um, it's very important. You guys are awesome. Never forget that. And uh, skip Rumble. It's bad. And thank you all. Take care. See you later.